again, I appreciate you all allowing us to come and speak to you all um, tonight, the group. And from my understanding, it's like folks are from like three or four different counties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two states. Two states. <laughs> there you go. So, well, we welcome all of you to come to Lowndes County to, at any time to visit any of our parks, active or passive parks. And um, so, what I would like to just start off, I've got several things that I would like to talk with you about, and I'd like to try and touch on different different topics because we feel that you know we're what our goal is is to serve the entire community and the region and. Just recently, our agency, we have restructured several things. One of the things that we have come up with is a new mission and vision statement. Um, and again, our, our older vision statement, mission statement, you know, was, was a, a good one, but it was not really covering everything that we truly did in, in our community. And what I want to do is just read our new mission statement in, in full to, to you all. And our new mission statement says, the VLPRA continually strives to be the leading force in superior affordable recreation services and facilities for all residents of Valdosta and Lowndes County. The authority aims to promote a high quality of life for the entire population and support residents' values while growing a healthy, safe, and environmentally responsible community. And that's our new mission statement. Our vision, our new vision statement. It is the vision of the VLPRA to provide the highest quality of services and facilities possible for both the residents and visitors. So you all, when you want to come from North Florida, the Lowndes County, we certainly welcome you. We aim to produce programs at a level that entices people to visit and live in the Valdosta Lowndes County area while also garnering national recognition. And one of the things that we are looking to try to do in the near future is become a nationally accredited agency. And with that, it takes an enormous amount of time, energy, effort from, from full-time staff, part-time staff, volunteers, community meetings, authority board, you know, members and, and support, and just, just a total team effort for our community. From my understanding, I think there are around 109 accredited agencies in the United States. So we're looking at, we're just starting out looking at things that we can do to become nationally accredited, because at the end of the day, if you're a nationally accredited agency, that gives your community, you know, they're, they're doing things right. You know, from policy making to from marketing to, to everything of the day-to-day -day operations. So that is one of our long-term goals of, of what, we're, what we're trying to do. You know, part of our mission, as I've said in it, is to grow an active, an active environmentally responsible community. And we're doing that. Um, awareness. I want to you know, sort of briefly touch on the awareness. We're already partnering with the county um, public works department to, to clean up some of our boat ramps, making them easier to use. Um, one of the ones in particular was the Knights Ferry boat ramp. I don't know if any of you all have actually been there recently, but um, there was quite a bit of um, dump site throwing things out there. Uh, we had um, just some, you know, the, the, the parking lot area was just, you know, people spinning, spinning up dirt, you know, bogging. It was just um, an area that we were trying to, to make more presentable. And unfortunately, some of our boat ramps, you know, we go out there, the county and the Parks and Rec Authority, um, you know, we go out and try to make an effort, clean it up, do some things, and then, you know, a couple months later, there's that that element of going out and you know doing some destruction. We put up new park rule signs, regulations, it got shot up the next week. So we're now hopefully working, you know, we are working with our law enforcement to to try and end some of this vandalism that we are having. But just know that there is a quality effort with with the county, 
the law enforcement and our authority of trying to not only in some of these parks boat ramps because as you know sometimes they're more in remote areas and at times that can create a little more um, step of folks wanting to do things they should but we are looking at creative ways to trying to get people whether it be by camera or trying to figure out a way to um, catch people in the act, so to speak. So we're, we're working with law enforcement to do that. But I do have to commend, you know, the efforts of, and getting things done, you know, when you, when we reach across department lines or agency lines, in this case with the county, um, it's, it's, it's really been a, any time we've asked for help, because we, as you all know, we're now managing the different boat, boating accesses, so it has been a positive experience. Um, as you all know, or most of you know, we have currently, that we maintain five river accesses. Knights Ferry Boat Ramp, the Little River Boat Ramp, the Langdale Park Boat Ramp, Clydesville Nankin Boat Ramp, and the Madison Highway Boat Ramp. Can you tell us where those different ramps are? I'm not familiar with What well, waterways are they on? Okay, they're uh, on the width of the coochie. You know, the, those waterways there, the um, the Little River is actually wherever the uh, Wipakuchi and the Little River branch together. So the Little River itself is actually with on the Wipakuchi, or I'm sorry, with on the, the Little River is actually um, like right at that branch. Yeah. And so those are the currently, both of the ramps that, that we currently have. So that's, that's that one right there, right? Yes. The Knights Ferry? Yes, the Knights Ferry, it is. Yes. Yeah. 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 